terms to describe situations, to describe circumstances. Is that okay? It's a profession you have chosen. Chairman didn't force anybody from his home to take up this. You reflected over it for several weeks, several months, or possibly a year. And you decided that, that this is the way to go. We assume that once you have come here and then you have learned all that uh, the coaches or the instructors have given you when you go back there you are going to implement exactly what you have been taught you are not going there to go and then repeat whatever you were doing before you came here to learn uh, the new experiences let's try and then go there and then apply whatever we have been taught here you are going there to respect that coaching involves team play. You cannot be a jack of all trades and a master of none. At least you should specialize in an area and then that is the coaching side and then you learn from that. I don't think your instructors have also told you that you are being trained here to go out there and then win all matches. The key phrase is that go and develop kids. Go and then grow football in your enclave. You are not supposed to go there or you have not been taught to go there and win all matches. So there should be no point going there to quarrel with referees, quarrel with your colleague coaches and then what have you, just because you are not getting the results. You are trained to go and then develop kids, not to go and then win all matches, not to go and pick all three points. Previously, if you are not licensed coaches, now that you, have, you are licensed coaches, it also puts an additional responsibility on you. Also remember that you don't know it all. Your instructors are learning. So it means that those of you even under them are also supposed to learn. So the learning has just begun. I have said we have all been blaming the authorities. Oh, our aid groups are not doing well. Black starlets are not doing well. Black satellites are not doing well. We are all those who contributed to that abysmal performance. Because the kids that we are using at that level came from the hands of all of you. You have to train them that way. And so when they came up there, it was difficult to shift them up. So we are not getting the results. So when you go back and you pick the kids at that tender age, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, there about, Try and then shape them. Let them get the basics right. If they get the basics right, it makes it easier for those who will be handling them at a higher level. And this is something that we all need to uh, contribute to. So that five years from now, if the results begin to move in a positive way, then we we'll begin to see that the training you had here is beginning to have a positive impact. I have made it a policy that I need to encourage women to participate in this coaching program as much as possible. Last year, the first batch, we had six, eight, three ladies. Second batch, we had three. Unfortunately, this year, first batch was zero. And then second batch, we have one. 
So, in line with the tradition, I would still give the only female participant 300 Ghana cities to defray her cost. Uh, let me come this way and then do that presentation to her.